How's it going, everybody? It's Mega Lake Bodum back here again with a Level Up Sunday Night Duel Day. Quick little video of John and myself. We got John on the left with a Light Fire build, and I'm running a Light Water Dark Tempo build, very similar to the Top 8 Winter Championship build. Uh, John's on the play, and he's going to charge some Sun Strike. He's got Fire and Light right off the bat. Pass back to me. And I'm going to drop a dude in mana and probably say go. Yep, I got Andromeda and say go. Back to John. Let's see what John can do here. Very aggressive deck. Uh, this game is extremely back and forth. We just volley for control of the field the entire time. He's got a Shimmering Wing on turn two and passes to me. Looking for either a Strider or a Scamp here. And I do have a Strider, which is going to block that Shimmering Wing. So that's a pretty good play against this kind of deck. I'd rather have the Strider than the Scamp on turn two. Hopefully they can follow that up with Lost uh, Lost Patrol and then into a Keeper and then just go uh, ape shit from there. But uh, this deck that John's running does run multiple uh, evolutions. He's got Draken Evolutions and he's got the Blinder Beetle Prime in there as well. So, you know, turn five comes down, that Blinder Beetle could really mess me up. He just got a Chasm Entangler and passes to me. On turn three, or yeah, turn three rather, I do logo scan and grabbing a couple more cards off the top. See what I can do here. I'm digging for answers. Hopefully, I can come up with something that's going to help me to control the board and uh, make sure his aggressive dudes don't get through. And he's on turn four. He's got that flame spinner. Passes go. He's not going to get in there because Aqua Fire is just too fat at this point. And I go to turn four, and I do have two scamps. So, not like they're going to do a lot right now. They're not going to be swinging, but it is more field presence. And, uh, you know, worst comes to worst, I could slam them into a Shimmering Wing or that Flame Spinner. Goes to five, and he's got a Major Owl. Major Owl's insane. Uh, I can't get over how many abilities this guy has. Not only does he have Fast Attacker, but he's got Blocker, and when he wins the battle, he untaps. So fucking ridiculous. Uh, he swings with the Shimmering Wing. I ponder about uh, blocking with the Aqua Strider. I'm like, no, forget it, I'll just lose another scamp. I take one shield, he gets in there with a flame spinner. I go, you know what, I'm going to block that shit. I block the flame spinner, dies, Major Owl smacks in against my Aqua Strider and untaps. And he gets in for another shield. And that's how crazy Major Owl is. Just so many abilities on that dude. What a freaking house. Uh, so, I'm on turn five, and I'm going to drop a Neptus in man, and the Neptus on the field. So now if he lets that owl be tapped, I'm going to hit it. Uh, Passes back to him. He can charge to the six mana here, or he could drop whatever's in his hand. Uh, he's got some decent field presence. That major owl still staring me down. Gets in with the Shimmering Wing. Got to take it. And he passes back to me. Not going to smack him with the major owl because he's just going to lose it to my Neptus. Go to six. And cast a fin bar, bouncing the blocker, swing with the Neptus, getting at the Shimmering Wing. I draw a card, I swing, he taps one of the scamps with the Shimmering Wing, I attack with the other scamp, and that's when I forget that Major Owl is a fucking blocker. That's ridiculous. Untaps. Wow. Major Owl. I tell you. Extremely aggressive and defensive card. It's insane how good that guy is. Just crazy. Uh, he's down. At, he's at five mana. Taps one for a Chasm Entangler that I bounce back with Finbar. Plays a Falcora. He's going to probably swing with the Falcora. I would think at a shield or the Scamp. Probably the Scamp. And he's going to take more board advantage here. Uh, I was thinking Pondering. I would say swing with the... Yeah, he's going to swing with the Falcora. Kill that scamp, tap the fin bar. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Now he takes a shield. Oh, I can't bone blades major out because he's level five. What a dick. It's insane. Major Al's gonna come in, kill the fin bar, yep. Untaps. Kills the scamp or waits for a block. No, he kills the scamp. Sweet. So Neptus is taking that guy down for sure this turn. I'm at six. Go to seven. Squirrel Scourge in the mana zone taps. Six for Lyra. Tapping Falcora. Yeah, I tap the Falcora and I swing with Neptus at that Major Owl. Suck it, Major Owl. Yeah, 
that's what's up. Fucking Major Owl. Tell ya. Too many abilities. Too good. Uh, another Falcora. Swings out that shield, forcing me to have it. So now all he needs is a top deck of Gale Flame, and that's good games, because I'm going to remove both of the Falcora this turn. Hopefully I can set up something that doesn't suck here. A blocker would be sweet at this point. There's Lost Patrol and a Strider. Remove Falcor, so I'm still in this game. He needs a Falcor off the top to win. I've dealt with two Falcoras now. Is, is that a Falcora? Oh, I guess Blind Beetle Prime would mess me up too. So five mana. You drop another one, go to six, play Chasm Tangler into a Blind Beetle for game. Get a Gale Flame, swings, and I block. So I'm alive for at least one more turn. I'm at, what, I'm at nine, go to nine, drop the Andromeda. Sweet, so I get two more shields. So I'm still in this game. And I'm going to smack in with Lyra, two shields. And going to get in with the... Ah, Storm Spark, ah. Well, just terrible luck. All right. Pass back to him. He's got that Gila Flame in the hand. Gila Flame is so good. So many fast attackers in this deck. It's insane. He's got me at all freaking angles with the fast attackers. I do have insane board presence right now, but if he pulls something crazy off, I'm in some shit. Or if there's another Storm Spark in his freaking shields, I'm screwed. Uh, let's Jet Flame Bodyguard into a Laser Arm Dragon to take down the shields. Uh, now, what? A, oh, ah, it breaks into a pit. Yes, sweet. So now I've got huge board presence. He's got to tap another dude whenever he attacks. He's going to play multiple dudes. He's got to attack one of them anyway. He's down to two or three shields. I think he's got three shields still. Uh, we got two double breakers. Hexproof dude. I go to ten. Swing with Andromeda. So there's a double break there. Hopefully he's... Oh, don't be a storm spark. Uh, resolving... Uh, he's not a Storm Spark. He would play it pretty quickly. <laughs> Hands down, Storm Spark play. Um, is it Sunstrike, maybe? I think it's Sunstrike. Target's Lost Patrol. I get in there with Lyra. Come on, Lyra. Anything but Storm Spark. Ah, that's game. Yep, so there's game one. Like I said, you just we just volleyed back and forth for control. Um, and now we're going to game two. He's going to be on the play again, so he could still get an insanely aggressive start. And it's my job to be able to control the field and get in there when I can. I tell you, that frickin' Blonder Beetle Prime is insane. And that Major Owl, ah! Hate you, Major Owl. You're too good. Chasm Entangler on turn one, says go. Me, and I'm gonna charge some mana there. Oh, Finbar. <laughs> Must be hurting if I'm playing a Finbar mana first turn. Jeez, but I think I open open hand with either two or three fin bars, so I can afford to sacrifice one to mana. And he charges Sunstrike on turn two. Back to me and scan for no Strider again. Sweet, so I can just hide behind Strider for a couple turns. <sighs> Nothing wrong with having Strider on turn two against this kind of deck. Turn three, he's got that Shimmering Wing again. Fucking Shimmering Wings. And you pass back to me. Drop a scan in mana, and I love a scan again. Dig more for more answers. So no lost patrol, obviously. I probably would have cast lost patrol in that case and start swinging. There's Falcora. Taps the Ox Strider and breaks into a Terror Pit. Oh, not so great. Oh, and he swings with the Shimmering Wing too. Wow. Turn four. Did I get Keeper? Maybe. No. Tap three. There's my lost patrol. Swing at the Shimmering Wing, and he's going to tap that Lost Patrol. Back to him now. Turn five. Ugh. Major Owl coming down. Turn five for Light Flyer is insane. He can just go crazy here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Drops a Proxy Magris in there. And he's got... That's a fucking Gila Flame. Remove the blocker. Bounce back to the hand. Come on, man. Swing, in, swing against the Lost Patrol. Come on. Be cool. Tradesies. Uh, the 
it's turn five for a keeper lost and get in there with lost patrol. Mm. No, yes, no. Yeah, swing with lost patrol. Don't be retarded. I think at this point I want him to play Gila Flame and use it as a bone blades to remove my lost patrol. Like I want him I attack with lost patrol here because I want him to use Gila Flame to remove Lost Patrol. I'm forcing Gila Flame to be a threat so he can remove it. Because I hate that Gila Flame. That thing's just gonna rip me apart. I don't run Mesmerize in this deck. The only discard I have is Squillis, and I'm a lot of fucking turns away from dropping a Squillis on him right now. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. He goes to six, and a Blinded Beetle Prime comes down. Targets the Keeper, and they go, oh wait, no, you can't. He's Hexproof, bro. So, swinging at Shield, removes Lost Patrol. Now's a good time to remove the Lost Patrol, because he's big. Yes, Lost Patrol is gone. Ah, not cool, man. Going to six. Bit of prey. Got a Finbar or Lyra. Rallying some serious shit. Six. Andromeda goes down, and I do Lyra in the sweet, so I got another turn at least before he can attack. And I swing with Keeper Lost, get one shield. All the while, just got to keep the tempo, got to keep the pressure. You know. Got to swing when you can, really, in this kind of matchup, because it, it's gonna, if it's going to come down to a race, I have to make sure I'm in a winning position uh, towards the final throws of the match, because stuff like Blinder Beetle Prime, Major AO, Gila Flame, he's just going to race me. That is a proxy Major AO, because I refuse to trade him for a third one. He swings with it and kills the Keeper, and he's going to leave that thing to block, keeping his Blinder Beetle Prime alive. And I Finbar it. Suck it. Kill it, get a card, that's tempo for you right there. That right there is tempo. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, Sun Strike tapped. He could have played it to kill the Finbar. Well, he's going to Gila. And he's going to Flame Spinner. That's good, too. There goes two shields. Gila gets one shield. Flame Spinner gets the other one. Uh, Piercing Judgment. No, he'll just play it again. No, that's bad. Bad plays make bad plays. Because I have to remove that flame spinner this turn. Run in some shit. Dropping Lost Patrol and a Strider. Use the fin bar to remove the spinner. Now I could just give a flame my fin bar. I could block with my Strider, I guess. That would be a smart play. Because fin bar is really good. Don't want the fin bar to die at this point, because. Swinging with dudes and drawing is good. But he's got a, boy, a lot of mana for that kind of deck. He can pull some sweet combos off. Still has that fucking Gila in there. Gila Flame. Bane of my existence. Gila Flame. Swinging at the Finbar. I block ya. Keep my Finbar alive. And... I'm at, oh, Squillis. I'm at Squillis mana now, bro. Pitch of the hand. I swing with the Lost Patrol, drawing a card. And he tornado flames the thin bar. Ah, that sucks. Whatever. I drop Squillis. I love me some Squillis action right there. So we're getting towards the end here. I got one shield. He's got either one or two. Two shields left. I can't quite see how much, and he's got a dragon, and that's past go. That's not good for him. Oh, Andromeda! So that pretty much seals the deal right there. I get two shields. I swing with Squillis. Double breaking. Ba bow, ba bow. And that's not ah oh, fucking Storm Sparks. I hate you, Storm Spark. Ba -ba -ba. All right. As long as he can't pull off a crazy combo here, I've got game. He's got one lowly dragon to my school of Andromeda and Lost Patrol. Don't do something cool here, and I gotcha. What is that? Got uh, Falcora and a Flame Spinner. He still has to tap the dude when he attacks, so the most he's going to do is take two shields, and I got him on the crackback. Falcora swings out a shield. Tapping the Draken. And then he's got the Flame Spinner for one more. There you go. Pass back to me. Draw for turn. Swing. 
with Andromeda for game.